Hi everyone, I'm Mani, the CEO and founder of Valor. The estate tax is a tax imposed when transferring a deceased person's estate to heirs and affects the estate's beneficiaries. The tax rate is based on the size of the estate and where the estate is based. So how does the estate tax work in Wisconsin and what are its tax rates? In this video, we'll dig into the basics of the estate tax and walk through different tactical approaches you can take to maximize your hard-earned gains you pass on to future generations. Before diving into the Wisconsin estate tax and its workings, let's get into the estate tax basics. So let's get started. The estate tax is a tax on the transfer of assets between generations. It is generally imposed on the estate's total value and any gifts made before the person passes away above a predetermined exempt amount that varies by state. Starting in 2024, individuals can transfer up to $13.61 million during life or at death without triggering the federal estate tax bill, up from the 2023 exemption amount of $12.92 million. However, each state has its own state-specific estate tax rules. Some states may not impose an estate tax, while others have a high tax rate. Moreover, the tax rate varies depending on the value of the gifted assets. Typically, the more assets you pass on, the higher the tax rate you will lose to the estate tax. These taxes are intended to reduce the wealth concentrated in a single estate by increasing the taxes on inherited wealth. Still, they can be minimized or completely avoided through estate planning. But how? Estate tax planning comes into play when you want to pass assets to the next generation. With estate tax planning, you can arrange your affairs to reduce the amount of federal and state estate taxes you and your heirs or recipients will face and maximize how much you pass on to the next generation. Importantly, estate tax planning can significantly impact how much you pass on to heirs because of how high federal and state estate taxes are. The federal estate tax is a tax on assets transferred from a person who passed away to their heirs. It is paid by the dead person's estate and is due nine months after death. Federal estate taxes range from 18% to 40%. This means that if you are giving away $1 million over and above the federal estate tax exemption, you would owe $400,000 in federal estate taxes and only leave $600,000 behind for your beneficiaries. And that's even before accounting for any state estate tax liability. And what exactly is the federal estate tax exemption? Each individual has a lifetime estate tax exemption. This exemption is the value of assets you can give away throughout your life and after your death without being subject to the federal estate taxes described previously. For 2024, this exemption is $13.61 million per person. Because the exemption is per person, married couples can give away double that amount. In addition, as of 2023, you have an annual gift exclusion, which allows you to give up to $17,000 per person per year. That doesn't count towards the gift tax exemption. However, it's essential to know the federal estate tax exemption level is scheduled to reduce by about 50% to $6.6 .6 million when the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act sunsets in 2026, which is why it's essential to get started with estate planning sooner rather than later. So let's now move on to the state estate tax. Currently, the estate tax in Wisconsin in 2024 is 0%. As a result, you won't owe Wisconsin estate taxes when passing assets on. Zero estate tax states are attractive for wealthy individuals, as they can pass on their estates to their heirs without worrying about the government taking a significant portion of their wealth. However, if the estate's value exceeds the federal tax exemption amount, then the estate is responsible for paying the remaining tax. So, how do all of these apply in the state of Wisconsin? Let's say your total taxable estate is $18 million. Critically, you won't owe any Wisconsin estate taxes, but you will owe federal estate taxes as the federal gift exemption is $13.61 million. Just from the federal estate tax, you would owe around $1.7 million. Or in other words, your heirs would get around $16.3 million after the estate tax if you didn't do any estate planning work. Fortunately, with some estate planning, you could avoid those federal estate taxes entirely. There are different tax planning strategies that can help you reduce your estate taxes. Here are some to consider. You can pass money to next generations free of estate tech and without using your lifetime gift exemption with a grantor retained annuity trust or GRAT, or combine GRATs with direct indexing to maximize the GRATs volatility and increase returns by even 98% or more. Another option could be to place assets into a spousal lifetime access trust, or SLAT. 
Your spouse can access the assets during your lifetime, and any appreciation will pass to your kids and future beneficiaries estate tax-free. You could also preserve your wealth, reduce or avoid estate taxes, and ensure that assets are managed and distributed according to your wishes over multiple generations with a dynasty trust. Another possibility could be to use charitable lead annuity trusts, or CLATs, to pass on assets to future generations and charitable causes while avoiding estate taxes and not using your limited gift exemption. You could also utilize gifting before your death. You can take advantage of your annual and lifetime gift exemptions to reduce your estate's taxable value. Finally, you could invest in life insurance. It can be used to pay estate taxes, it is generally exempt from income tax, and can be structured to avoid the estate tax by being put in an irrevocable life insurance trust, or ILIT, or you could set up private placement life insurance, or PPLI, to avoid income and estate taxes. All right, that wraps it up. I really hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new today. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Now, a quick word about Valor. We've built a platform to give everyone access to the tax planning tools of billionaires like Facebook founder Mark Zuckerberg and others. We make it simple and seamless to pick the best strategy, set up, and administer these structures at a fraction of the cost of competitors. I really hope you found this video useful. If you still have any questions, please visit our website at valor, B -A -L -U -R .io, where you can read more content on the subjects, play with our online calculator to discover your potential financial gains, or schedule a call with us.